Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below. The CCSA early this morning Monday reported 7,592 new cases of the COVID virus around the country. In the same 24-hour period, 7,495 are said to have recovered and been released from quarantine and 39 deaths have been attributed to the virus in the same time. The Thai government has issued a warning regarding a fake website designed to emulate the Thailand Pass website. The fake one ends in .org, and that's the fake one. The real one ends in .go.th, which makes it a government official site. This, as reports indicate, delays in processing at the genuine site used to gain approval to travel to Thailand for visitors and has seen the Prime Minister's office telling those in charge to speed it up. We recommend anyone using the site to view a video created here at 103 that takes you step-by-step through the process and is available at our website, alwayspatia.com. The video has several tips and tricks to save you time in the completion of your application at least. Bitcub, a Thai cryptocurrency exchange, has seen 51% of its shares sold to Siam Commercial Bank in a deal which highlights the bank's faith in the new type of currency, which is virtual. With traditional banks closing in favour of online banking in many cases, Bitcub is just three years old, but has taken the lion's share of domestic crypto trading in Thailand. Police in Kampang Pet were amazed to find 23 illegal Burmese job seekers at the roadside at the weekend. It seems the truck they were being transported into a workplace unnamed crashed resulting in three dying and others injured. The transport gang sent another pickup to collect them, but Julie dumped them on the roadside, promising to call an ambulance. But of course they didn't, as they would have been afraid of being implicated. And a Covid outbreak at the central Nakhon Ratchasima jail has seen 625 reports of positive testing there. This from a total of 2,000 jailbirds. With prison visits now halted there for the time being, Extra medical services have been called in to treat any with serious conditions. Meanwhile at home and in our own region, Chombury province reported 179 cases of COVID during a 24-hour period. 64 in Chombury City, 27 in Silachar, 28 in Banglamung, which includes Pattaya, and 15 in Satahip. The immigration offices at Jomtien are expected to remain closed at least through till Thursday morning this week, following reports on Friday of a COVID outbreak there. Those with urgent need can use offices at Sirachar, and we can expect longer than normal queues when they do open. So if you don't need to go there this week, it's best to delay it until next. Patia's music festival was a well-organised affair this weekend, seeing the city crowded with domestic tourists and teams working hard to combine fun with safety. But as bars, clubs and eateries are banned from selling alcohol, it was noted by many that numerous people who attended simply brought their own, drinking beer and other drinks during the various concerts. Right now, it's hoped that eateries will be allowed to sell alcohol for on-site consumption by mid-month, but there's absolutely no guarantee of that. Whilst the ferry to Hua Hin from Patia is, we're told, a dead duck and won't be revived, Today sees the launch of a long-distance ferry from Satahip to Songkla in the far south of the country. Triple-decked, the ferry offers transport for cars, trucks and passengers for the 20-hour sailing, whilst having restaurants, private cabins and sleeping pods available for weary travellers. It may well become a feature for tourists wanting to see more of Thailand once overseas travel takes off and packages with return flights to Utapau are in the offing. A reminder once again that poppies for the annual poppy appeal organised by the British Legion here are available in all good eateries and shops in areas where there are expat communities and that the total of those funds goes to aid those left affected by foreign wars of many nations. So as they say, buy one and wear it with pride. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 30 degrees dropping down to 25, an overcast day for our region with the chance of rain later... Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme.